So Oregon just upset Ohio State in a big game for them. And I have five takeaways from the game that I'd like to share with y'all. Let's get into it. The first takeaway I got is C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud just needs to play better. You know, obviously he's a young quarterback, but this is Ohio State, you know, and they have expectations of making it to the college football playoffs because that's that, you know, that's the type of team they are. They're one of the best teams in the nation, you know, top to bottom. That's what they hold themselves to the standard of, and C.J. has to play up to that standard. I get it, he's a freshman quarterback, but some of the plays he's missing, for a true freshman, he shouldn't be missing. You know, he's missing on the deep ball. Oh, he was overthrowing guys like Olave. He was overthrowing Wilson. Like, he was just, he was making bad reads as well. You know, he had plenty of plays where he had a guy underneath and he's trying to go for the guy deep that's covered. It's like, go for the underneath guy. Go for the tight end. Go for the slot receiver. Why are you trying to make the big play every single time? Don't do that. This is how you manage games. And you're going to be a young quarterback. Make it easy on yourself. Don't make it hard. And he continues to do that because he's, I guess he's, you know, not used to the pressure. But at the end of the day, he has to play better for them to be able to reach where they're trying to go, which I believe is a national championship would be the goal. But if he plays like this, I don't even think they make it to the Big Ten championship game because this is just not how Ohio State quarterback is supposed to play. Point blank period. Moving on. On to Oregon's offense, man. They they just ran the ball really well. You know, even the quarterback using the read option, you know, to set up passing plays on the play action. They just did it. They called a good game. Shout out to the offensive coordinator. Shout out to the quarterback, Anthony Brown. He played a really good game. He played a poised game. I think he was the best quarterback on the field, and I don't think a lot of people will debate that. You know, you know, he went out there, and he delivered the throws when they needed to be delivered, and they just marched down there. You know, now, did he finish the game? Like he probably should have towards the end on them last two stops by the Ohio State defense. No, but he overall put them in the position to win the game in the first place. So shout out to him and shout out to the run game because they both went crazy and they dominated Ohio State. All right, moving on to the Ohio State receiving core. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but they play really good. You know, obviously, I'm not about to blame them for CJ Stroud missing them. They got open. Alave, I believe, had a really good game. He was able to get open. He had touchdowns that... If it was just thrown in the right direction, it's easy touchdowns for him. And the slot receiver, I might mess up his name, Najaba, I think, Smith and Jabba, he had a really good game. And he was going to be my MVP had they won because he made some big plays when they need to be made for that team. Moving on. Boy, oh, boy, the Ohio State defense. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Man, Ohio State defense just didn't play good for the majority of this game. You know, obviously, had they played this entire game, how they played the last you know, uh, two drives where they got stops, this probably would have been an easy game for Ohio State to win. But they didn't. They got moved out. The defensive line played poor. They got moved out the line a lot. They got dominant. They got mauled in the run game by Oregon's offensive line. They just had a bad game as a defense. And Ohio, Oregon, credit to Oregon, they just tore them up. But Ohio State has to play better than that defensively because this is the second game in a row where they look poor for the majority of a ball game. Moving on. My last takeaway is the Oregon defense. They played really good given the circumstances. You know, they lost Kayvon Thibodeau going into this game, one of the top defensive players in the nation. They lost Justin Flo, another one of the top young rising defensive players in the nation. And they played a really good game. Shout out to the Sewell kid, the linebacker. He played really good, making some plays in the pass and the run game. The corners played a good game. You know, the defensive line played a good game. They pressured Stroud. And like I said, the DBs, you know, they came up with the clutch interception at the end and they made two big stops when Ohio State made two big stops on their defense side. They helped win this game most definitely for their team. And that's all I got for the game. Those are my five takeaways. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to be coming with some more takeaways throughout the season for these college football and NFL games. So uh, be on the lookout for that. That's all I got to say about it. Peace.